yeah, 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 Never switch on the homies in the day ones. They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some. Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young. That direct deposit hitting like a bass drum. And coming, 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 coming. Keep it in, coming, coming, coming. All right, guys, I'm in a tuk tuk. I'm in Cambodia. I flew in yesterday. Not sure if I'm gonna add the clip of me coming in to Cambodia. Uh, it was a little uh, hectic, to say the least. I might uh, elaborate more on that, but right now I'm in a tuk-tuk, getting ready to get something to eat. And I'm going to my favorite place to eat, which is Sinegat. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Korean barbecue. Now, I have videos on that before, but we're gonna see if anything's changed on the menu and the, the restaurant, the aesthetics. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go eat. It is different, they changed it. They have the little rooms now down this hallway. Before there's another hallway that goes by the kitchen. I'm looking for my lady friend and I don't see her. All right, so they take me to another room because I want to do the Korean barbecue. Obviously, I'm not the Korean barbecue place, so I want to grill my own meat. So yes, they've changed the rooms. They look a lot better than the last time I was here. And as I said, they've done construction to the place. And uh, the hallway you normally go to, they changed it. So you go through another hallway and now they have rooms on either side. So that was smart because they were only having rooms on one side. So let's take a quick look at the menu while we're waiting. It's a big menu as you can see. So using the fronts is where they have all of the different meats you can order. There's some sol bulugi, bulachan, yukoho, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry guys. Another dish here looks like with the bone marrow in it. So I usually order off of this menu here. And I usually get either this one or this one. So I'm most likely gonna get the, this one because I like the one that's marinated. It's only a few dollars more. As you can see, this is uh, $35 and this is 27. So I will be partaking in that. But they have this thin skirt steak for 25. The roasted rib finger, I've had that before. This one as well. They have the pork, the rib. It's got the bone in it. That is 12. This one is pork belly, $10. So Lugi again, 32 bucks. Oh no, this is the one I get. This is the one I'm gonna get right here because I like to grill the spring onions. This is 25. So this is the one I'm gonna be getting today. There's another set. Beef tartare. 
spicy fried pork meat. Sorry guys, I got my contacts in and it's really hard for me to read. They're not really for reading even though they're bifocal. So bear with me. Um, so, nah, I'm not gonna pronounce it. But here's another dish. Short ribs, carrots, radish, braised in sugar and green soy sauce for over an hour. That looks delicious. There's some shrimp. Real men's beef patty, aka hamburger. <laughs> um, stewed mackerel, okay. This is uh, raw fish and cold broth. And the list goes on and on. This is the one that was on the front. So I'm not gonna read them all, I'll just flip through the book. I'd like if you look at the menu, but you can also look online. There might be a little glare, I don't know how it's gonna come out on the camera, but I really love this place. And one of my favorite dishes that they have here is they have a um, like a semi-sweet um, mashed uh, sweet potato or some type of um, pumpkin or whatnot. It's delicious. And my all-time favorite is the green onion. Um, Hello. So we have this beautiful young lady who's going to be my uh, server, I guess. So I would like to get this one and I'm probably not going to eat all this guys, I'll probably cook it and take it home, where's the pork, but let's just do it for the sake of the video, see what I do for you guys? good English. Now there's a, another lady that, I mean obviously I haven't been here in a little over a year, that I usually uh, deal with every time I come here and guys I've been here a, a lot. Um, I think I only posted like two videos or three videos but I would come here maybe sometimes twice a week. It's it's fairly cheap, you know, um, and I bring girls here on dates too. But for the price of ten dollars for this pork and you'll see the portion and the beef, 25, so for 35 bucks, two people could eat this and you get sides and um, I don't know, they give you a complimentary soup, it's not the same all the time, um, but usually one comes with like these clams and fish and pork and slightly spicy, but it's really good. But the menu is very extensive. Uh, this is probably the soup right here. Um, these little clams and whatnot, but the menu is very extensive keep flipping through but you can obviously go online and check it out now the food here is pretty authentic um, I like that green onion salad so much I don't remember the name of it I should remember the name of it that I looked it up um, online and it is a traditional side dish for Korean barbecue and it's like tossed in a obviously goji jong is the base but it's mixed in with some other flavors, so it's quite delicious. So we'll just wait for the lady to come back and set everything up, get my cold.
my suit. This is the suit that I've been talking about. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious. See how hot and bubbly it is? So they changed it and I like this. So after she gets done grilling, instead of it sitting over cold, they put it on this right here. And then that allows it to stay warm so she'll cook all my food with it on here. So this is a great new addition or a change in their cooking style here. Look at that pork. Look at the marble in the back. Delicious. Now I'm just now noticing that that's a okay. mushroom and it's got the, the, the name of the restaurant grilled into the mushroom. Now how classy is that? So I asked her if she knew all the names of the sides, but she does not. But the sides look delicious. Kind of disappointed that they don't have the green onion one that I like, but that's okay. The sides change every day. So the sweet potatoes are there. Um, so we have some different sides, but the kimchi is always there. This is a potato pancake, another cake. Oh, pickled radish is delicious. I'm assuming that is like a tofu. Is that tofu? No? Uh, egg or tofu? Ode. Ode. Okay. Not sure what that is. Um, looks like another kimchi or goji drum type of vegetable. Eggplant as well as cauliflower and broccoli. Now with these sides, you can, when you finish them, you can always, obviously ask for more and they will bring you more. Like I said, this soup is to die for. So, my beef is done. It's sitting over here being, well, it's even hot while she's grilling my pork. So we're gonna dig in as soon as she's done. I don't wanna start eating mid. So we have some raw garlic here a salt and pepper mixture, and a uh, goji drum sauce. I'm pretty sure it's their own signature sauce. Quite delicious. I'm a, I already know I'm gonna be using more of that. I'm gonna ask her to bring some more when we come back. And and what is this one here? This is another soup? Chonchini. Chonchini, okay. It's just a broth. Okay, so nothing in it, guys. Uh, looks like there's a few pieces of tofu down there. We'll dig into that, but uh, yeah, let's just wait for her to get done, and then we will start sampling. So she's got scissors over there, and with these thick cuts of pork, what she'll do is when she's done grilling them, she'll cut it up into small pieces. Then we have these wraps over here, or lettuce pieces, for you to make wraps. They also have these green chilies that are really delicious. Probably gonna throw one of those on the grill now, if you will. Can I put these on the grill? I like them grilled instead of raw. They add a nice uh, bit of heat and they get that charred little flavor in there too. And they also have the carrots. Sometimes I throw the carrots on there I'll be them raw. But you know, today I'm gonna go raw, raw veggies today. Except for those chili peppers. So I didn't get it on camera guys because I was fooling around trying to set up the Osmo Pocket too. No worries, no worries. That's okay. <laughs> um, but she already cut up my pork for me. She went and got me some more grilled onions. I am definitely not gonna finish all of this, especially because I'm taking the Olympic shot, and the Olympic shot, you know, um, curbs your appetite. So anyways, she cut it up, and as soon as she's done, she's gonna put it on there, and then I'll start feasting. So she set me up. Thank you very much. So she set me all up, guys. We are good to go. Listen to that sizzle. You hear it? You hear it? 
This is a must come to if you're here in Cambodia. For, I mean, all this cost me, what, uh, 35 bucks. Obviously, I'm gonna leave her a nice tip, but 35 bucks, come on, man. Can't beat that, especially on a date. I haven't been by myself today. I just flew in, I ain't find a lady yet. Most of the ladies I already knew and established a rapport with, if you will. Um, they haven't been answering my messages. A lot of them don't have load or whatever they call it here on their uh, phones. So it is what it is. When they get to some Wi-Fi, maybe they'll see my message and they'll hit me up. But anyways, let's start. All right, we're gonna start with the soup here. So like I said in the beginning, that piece, the soup has these clams in it, uh, beef, pork, mushrooms. I don't see any clams today, but this is a complimentary soup that they give you. It's quite delicious, so let's try it out. Very hot, as you saw, it was bubbling when they brought it in, so I uh, had to let it cool down a little bit. Plus, you know, while I was filming her, doing everything, I didn't want to start eating. I just wait for everything to be complete, but let's try it. Just like I remember it, except no clams. All right, so now we're gonna go to this one. This was the clear bra. I don't know if you guys can see it there. I'll be spilling. Now this is cold, okay. Ah, very good. Take another taste of that. It's got a tinge of vinegar. This looks like radish, daikon I'm assuming. delicious. Me being a chef and a cook, I really cannot describe the flavor. It's almost like a pickling liquid, but very, 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 very mild. Um, this is, this is awesome. I almost said the F word. This is awesome. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to save that for the end go back and have a few more bites of this one. As you can see, look at that. See the chilies in there. There's the beef in there, the onions, the spice. Maybe shouldn't have put that big pepper in my mouth, but we're gonna find out. Not too spicy, not too spicy. So there's also big chunks of tofu in there as well. Mm. All right, I'm gonna set that to the side. We'll snack on that as we're eating. So let's get into some wraps. Now, I noticed they did that last time. There's not really a plate get into a side dishes, whatnot, so um, I don't think that's too ideal, but we're gonna work with it. So what I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna start with this one. Looks like a piece of romaine. So, I uh, forgot to ask him uh, for a fork. That's another thing, guys. They give you these reusable metal uh, chopsticks, and I'm not very good at chopsticks, so I always ask for a fork. But right now, we're just gonna make one really quick wrap. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna dip it into this salt mixture here. You see, boom, boom. Now I'll place it back down on here. Rotate it so the salt doesn't get falling off when I dip it into this sauce. So we're gonna put that on there. And I'm a garlic whore. So, throw a raw piece of garlic. I think I'm just gonna try it like this without putting any of these little side dishes on here. 
I know some people may just eat the side dishes and just put the wrap in here. I like to add, you know, some of these side dishes into the wrap and eat it like that. So. Mm. Quite honest with you, don't even think I need the salt. It's marinated perfectly. Mm. Mm, so tender. The grade of meat that they use is excellent here. The marbling is great. You saw the pork. No. Mm. Excuse me. Let me finish chilling. I'm actually going to use this soup as an intermezzo. Clean my palate. So, you saw the pork when it came in. It was a nice thick cut. It did cook down a little, but as you can see, it's still a pretty nice thick piece of pork. So we're gonna go ahead and just dip a little bit of that. The sauce here. It is a shame she didn't know all the names of everything, but she knew some of them. It'd be great to uh, be able to tell you what the names of these side dishes are. Also a shame that they didn't have the actual green onion salad that I like that I just raved about. But it is what it is. I'll probably maybe come back here before I go. I'm leaving in three days, so I'm gonna put a little bit of these grilled green onions that she brought. And a piece of raw garlic. And just go like that. Very hot. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Delicious. They're just so fast, I can't get this in film. So the lovely lady just brought me something that resembles, oh, a fried sweet potato or some type, and some type of beverage. I believe it's dessert. It's like a sweet tea and some type of fried sweet potato. So we'll check that out when we're done eating. Guys, I haven't even made a dent. As I said, I'm getting kind of full. So I'm gonna continue to try and chow down on some of this and then take the rest home. All right, that about does it for me, guys. Only a few more pieces. Oh, this is kind of warm left and still a lot of the sides left. Ah, she was just full. <clears throat> so I did put a little dent in the soup, maybe about half. So now we're gonna try whatever this is. Like I said, looks like a piece of sweet potato. Like caramelized sugar or glazed sugar on it. Let's see. So let's check it out. Mmm. Hear that crunch? Yes, definitely sugar. So that is dessert. Yeah, and it is some type of sweet potato or yam. Um, I'm gonna say yam because we always call sweet potatoes sweet potatoes and they're not, they're actually yam. Sweet potatoes are white, guys. They're white, not orange. Anyways, and then we got a sweet tea. Um, a little too sweet for me. I do like sweet things. Um, but I've recently been getting off of sodas and sugary drinks and been just drinking water or unsweetened um, tea. So maybe that's why my sweet resistance or uh, lack of a better word, um, the sweetness is just too 
sweet for me because I've been off of the sugar pick, not eating a lot of candy and stuff, but still quite delicious. Sorry, tender ramble. So yeah, nice addition. The sweet potato and the sweet tea. So I'm gonna sign off here. Thanks for watching this video. I know I've done videos before, but I'm gonna edit this video a little differently. I'm trying to get my step up my editing game and, and whatnot to make you guys better content and make it more interesting. Plus I subscribe to a new uh, music app, so the music is a lot better than I'm using. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching my videos. Please share, like, and subscribe. Let's get these subscribers up. Hey, I wanna say thank you to subscriber uh, 140. Um, thank you for subscribing. It usually tells me I have a new subscriber and it says the person's name. And I usually like type and say, thank you for subscribing, welcome to the channel. So it didn't give me that this time, so thank you for the channel. Let's get these numbers up, let's get these likes up, let's smash that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Tell all your friends about Cali and Southeast Asia. I'm in Cambodia right now, I will be going back to Thailand. Who knows, I may take a little jump over to Vietnam. I would really, obviously I can't go, but would really like to go to Myanmar. Really would like to go. It's on the other coast of Cambodia, on the Indian Ocean side. I, I just think that would be an, an awesome place to visit, but you know, the war that's going on over there. God bless all the displaced civilians and all the people that have died in this war, man. War is senseless. It's senseless. Nobody wins but the politicians, the bond makers, the bullet makers, the gun companies, the bandage companies, the you know, and so forth and so on. You know, just so those companies can make money from facilitating all of the needs that you need for war. It's senseless, man. Nobody wins at the end. What do you get? Some 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 land and some clout. So my prayers go out to the people in Palestine, the people in Israel, people in Myanmar, people in Ukraine, even in Russia, man. You, you, you can't hurt, uh, you, you, you can't side with one side unless you're only taking a political approach. There's civilians there, guys. They're dying. They didn't sign up for this war. They didn't say go to war. They didn't say Putin go to war. They didn't go Zinsky go to war. They didn't tell their politicians, yeah, let's fight, let's go to war. They decided to do this. And the people that suffer are their people. Drop your arms and just say, we're not fighting anymore. I know it sounds, oh, it's not that simple. But yeah, anyways, that's just my two cents. Maybe I shouldn't even said that, but it's just, man, the loss of human life is just, it's a tragedy, no matter who it is. The, opp the opposition or the defensive or whatever. It's just, it's just terrible. But anyways, please like, share, subscribe. God bless to everyone all across the world. I wish you happiness, success. Um, yeah, but thank you for watching my channel. Time to sign out. Thank you. Peace. can't wait to get my hands on the Osmo Pocket 3, but because I just got a new drone and I got the Action 4 for some underwater adventures, which I still haven't done, and some aerial shots so that I can step up my game. If you don't know, I crashed my drone in the Philippines going to a waterfall, so when I continued my journey here in Cambodia, I wasn't able to take much aerial shots. I did take a few, but I didn't put them up. Um, because I crashed it, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the Osmo Pocket. It's great. I really like it too because I can control it from my phone here. As you see, I can see all the action. So if I was having this to the side and not filming myself, I'd be able to control the camera. I can pan up, I can pan down. But this is a great uh, camera uh, addition to your iPhone as well as your Osmo Action 4 if you have those, or GoPro or whatever else you're using. Um, I really like this camera, it's great. Might be up for an update, I don't know, something flashed on the, um, on the screen here, but if you've got the money, go out and get the Osmo Pocket 3. It's supposed to be even better. I think they fixed some of the live stream issues on that. I wanted the live stream you know, from bars in Thailand and bars here and whatnot, but <clears throat> it's just too difficult. And I think they fixed that problem. Don't quote me on that, but 
yeah, the Osmo uh, Osmo Pocket 3 is out, and I think that would be a great addition too. So we're just about done, and we're about to start eating. All right, guys, I'm trying to make a dent in this, but to no avail. Still got a lot of food left. So <clears throat> let's talk about the lettuces or the wrap material. This is like a Napa cabbage. It's pretty good, but I usually don't eat past the rib. So I try to get just the leafy part. Romaine, like I said, but they normally don't give you a lot of this. It might be very expensive here, but they give you this green leaf and <laughs> naturally I pull out a big piece, but they're usually not this big. So you really can't make a wrap. Let's see. They're usually small like this or even smaller, which is still doable. But if you're trying to build a nice wrap and put a lot of stuff on it, um, it's not really ideal. Um, so again, the food is very good. <clears throat> the only complaint I have is they gave me these uh, onions, the green onions, the scallions. I don't know what they call them here in this country or in Korea. But the green onions, the white part of it is super, super chewy. Not trying to be disgusting, but I couldn't even chew it. Now, they did give me, I'm using my fingers, guys, because I, I just can't use the chopsticks. They did give me a lot of smaller green onions, as you saw her putting on the grill and grilling. So um, I'm going to forgo eating the white part and just eat the green part. Um, by this time, I probably would have gone through every side. And for the fourth, fourth time, I probably mentioned I'm on Olympic. Uh, that's the weight loss shot, which is the diabetic shot for weight loss. <clears throat> and so it's really curbed my appetite. Um, cause I could finish this no problem. I've done it before and a couple sides and finish my soup. So I'm probably going to eat two more wraps and then I'm going to head out. So I want to thank you for watching my videos, share, like, and subscribe. I'm not done yet. As I said, she brought me this, uh, I'm assuming it's dessert. It's like a sweet tea and looks like some type of, uh, sugar coated, seared sweet potato. I don't know what it is. We're going to find out in a few minutes. So let me just finish eating a few more of these wraps and we'll get to that. They also give you this um, nice uh, <clears throat> metal canteen of, uh, of uh, cold tea, unsweetened. And I love unsweetened iced tea. Delicious. Great value, I got to say again. 35 bucks for all this great value plus tip. Great value. All right, let's check out some of these side dishes. This is the first one. Looks like that's a green onion. This looks like a kimchi. It's a little firm piece. That's probably some daikon radish, but there we go. Let's check it out. All right, that was definitely a cucumber pickled. Tossed in. A light, sweet version of kimchi, more probably a gojujang base than kimchi, now that I think about it. Look how cute is that. It's like a roll-out of kimchi. Um, I actually like the kimchi so much that I bought a container um, when I was here, living here, teaching school here. I would freak with this place, as I said before. Mm -hmm. Just like I remember. Not too overpowering as some kimchi is, or at least I find. Pickled radish. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Still has that crunch. 
the pickling isn't too it's 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 like the broth the soup it's very light pickled so you'd probably eat a lot of that now i asked her if this was tofu if this is egg uh, i'm not sure let's check it out look at me struggling with these things this is definitely not me So let's see what this is. I'm gonna say definitely in the um, tofu realm. Yeah, delicious. Light sesame oil with maybe just a hint of sugar. Delicious. Then we have the eggplant here. Mm, good. It's like a mm, best way to describe it is like a It has an umami taste when it's like a watered down soy sauce, if you will, but sweet. So maybe some type of Korean soy sauce. I saw that on the menu, but that's delicious. Then we got the broccoli. I'm just going to spike this. This is the broccoli and cauliflower. Looks like it was blanched. A little red sauce on the top. Mmm. Mmm. This sauce is different from this sauce here. And I actually really like this. This is sweet, vinegary, and you get a hint of spice at the end. Now, I knew this was going to happen. I'm full. And I took two bites. That's because I am taking the Olympic shot. So I did this for you guys because I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish all this food. I'm not going to stuff myself. I'm going to eat a little bit of this and get it to go. But we still got a few more sides to go through. Now this is, I love the presentation on this. I think it's cooked perfectly. You can still see the green onions in it. They cut it, stacked it up there. So it's some type of potato pancake. You know what? Forgive my fingers. I'm on vacay. Equally delicious. <laughs> and last but not least, another oh no it's not a pancake this is like a seared piece of tofu maybe in tempura batter or egg or something so let's use our fingers again so you see tofu right there seared with some type of i'm gonna say egg we won't know till we bite so let's do it no like tempura Excuse my smacking. Delicious. All right, guys. I'm going to dig in. Let's see how much I can finish. I'll get right back at you after I get done. All right, guys. I'm trying to make a dent in this. But to no avail. Still got a lot of food left. So <clears throat> let's talk about the lettuces or the wrap material. This is like a Napa cabbage. It's pretty good, but I usually don't eat past the rib. So I try to get just the leafy part. 
romaine, like I said, but they normally don't give you a lot of this. It might be very expensive here. But they give you this green leaf, and <laughs> naturally I pull out a big piece. But they're usually not this big, so you really can't make a wrap. Let's see. They're usually small like this or even smaller, which is still doable. But if you're trying to build a nice wrap and put a lot of stuff on it, um, it's not really ideal. Um, so again, the food is very good. <clears throat> the only complaint I have is they gave me these uh, onions, the green onions, the scallions. I don't know what they call them here in this country or in Korea. But the green onions, the white part of it is super, super chewy. Not trying to be disgusting, but I couldn't even chew it. Now, they did give me, I'm using my fingers, guys, because I, I just can't use a chopstick. They did give me a lot of smaller green onions, as you saw her putting on the grill and grilling. So um, I'm going to forgo eating the white part and just eat the green part. Um, by this time, I probably would have gone through every side. And for the fourth, fourth time, I probably mentioned I'm an Olympic. Uh, that's the weight loss shot, which is the diabetic shot for weight loss. <clears throat> and so it's really curbed my appetite. Um, cause I could finish this no problem. I've done it before and a couple sides and finish my soup. So I'm probably going to eat two more wraps and then I'm going to head out. So I want to thank you for watching my videos, share, like, and subscribe. I'm not done yet. As I said, she brought me this, uh, I'm assuming it's dessert. It's like a sweet tea and looks like some type of, uh, sugar coated, seared sweet potato i don't know what it is we're going to find out in a few minutes so let me just finish eating a few more of these wraps and we'll get to that they also give you this um nice uh <clears throat> metal canteen of uh of uh cold tea unsweetened and i love unsweetened iced tea delicious great value i gotta say again 35 bucks for all this great value plus tip great value Travel pro tip, always keep a pin on you when you're traveling so you can fill out your decoration, your passport, if you're getting a visa on arrival, as well as your declaration of what you're bringing into the country. Always keep a pin. All right, guys, so I'm here in Cambodia and I'm waiting for a tuk-tuk. There's many tuk-tuks out here, but they overcharge you. So it cost me roughly 19,000 uh, real and let's see uh, if I remember this correctly 1,000 real is like 25 cents so 4,000 real is a dollar so you do the math it's like five bucks they're trying to charge nine or more I get them I don't knock their hustle and if you got it you can go ahead and do that without having to grab a, a grab or tuk-tuk I got it but I'm still a budget you know traveler and I try to pinch pennies wherever I can, and that's one of them. I'm gonna be charging another four dollars, and I'm gonna tip the guy probably another dollar, you know, for the tuk tuk ride. So it's gonna wind up costing me six, so I'll save like three. So, anyways, you know, there's gonna be many guys like this truck's in the way, but the airport's up there, and there's gonna be many guys out there, and there's gonna be people holding signs, and they're gonna be following you around, and they're gonna be trying to get you to get in their tuk tuk, whatnot. So anyways, waiting for my tuk-tuk on my way to my spot. Always some stupid presidential or minister or whatever driving through here, blocking all of the traffic. Every time I'm here in Cambodia, I get stuck in one of these roadblocks. So nothing's moving. No tuk-tuks are coming to pick you up from the airport. I've been sitting outside in the hot ass sun and there's all this road blockage from, I guess someone got off the airplane or whatnot at the airport with like a, a hundred car motorcade, as you can see, all the cars coming out of this motorcade. With like one person in the car. This is the bullshit you gotta go through.
but it is what it is. All right, so I'm in the tuk-tuk. I'm paying them five bucks to get to where I'm going, which is roughly about the price anyways. That's the last of the cash I have, and I need to get to the bank before they close. Now, the bank doesn't close. I think they changed their hours last time I was here to like 8 o'clock at night, but it wasn't always like that. So hopefully the branches are still open late. I'm trying to get an eSIM before they close um, and then get situated. My phone's almost dead. And it was just a bunch of bullshit with the tuk-tuk drivers. I kept telling them I didn't have any cash because all I had was five bucks on me. So I was trying to book through Grab and there's a lot of reasons why I do that. Um, because when you use cash straight from your bank account to pay for these rides, there's no service fee or charge or anything like that. But when you go to the bank and withdraw money, there's a service charge. Now I get my money back because I bank with Charles Schwab. But when you're in Thailand, um, the exchange rate, they don't give you American cash. So you can't go into a bank or exchange it or go to a money exchange and exchange it and get the current exchange rate. So that's why I practice that in Thailand. Here, I don't really have to worry too much about that. I also have to be careful because I got my phone in my hand and as you can see people can drive by and just snatch my phone and keep going. So you gotta be vigilant out here, you know what I mean? You just gotta be vigilant. And I know people can say, well, why are you posting negative energy and this, that, and the other? It's not negative energy, guys. This is factual shit that people need to know. All these YouTubers, not all of them, but you know what I'm saying, will feed you a bunch of lies and bullshit to get you to watch the channel and let you think everything's puppy, puppy dogs, rainbows, and unicorns when it isn't. You gotta take the good with the bad. You gotta show the good with the bad. So these are issues that you'll have to deal with in any country. So this is the issue that I have to deal with. And it's a major issue I deal with flying into any foreign country where they're trying to rip you off. You know what I mean? They, I know how much it costs because I've been here before. So I know how much a ride costs from the airport to where I'm going. 18,000, 19,000 real. Like I said, it's about four bucks, five bucks. It's not nine bucks, not 10 bucks, not 12 bucks, not 15 bucks. Now, if it was in a car, I can understand that, but most of the time it's tuk-tuks. So my channel is about being 100% real and telling you the truth of what happens and showing you tricky and shitty situations that may happen. I mean, you gotta roll with the punches, I'm rolling with it, but do I like it? No. Should you be aware that these things could happen? Yes. All right, so, yeah, I'm posting this. And I know, you know, my dad and a few other people are like, oh, you can't leave negative comments and this, that, and the other. It's, this is just facts. This is just life, you know what I mean? So anyways, on our way, it's rush hour, it's traffic. Um, as to be expected, so probably take about 15 minutes to get there, maybe 20. All right, so I'm still on the tuk-tuk, but I just want to give you a little look of what traffic looks like here in Cambodia. Traffic is real. I'm not sticking my hand outside with my phone because I'll get my hand back, but I won't get the phone back. But this is traffic. This is how they drive. Yet, you'll rarely see an accident. Traffic stand here, stand still over there. You got police over there, directing traffic. Cars just stopped. So there's pretty much no turn signals or anything like that, or stop signs or any of that when you're in this part of town they're far in between as we get closer there'll be a, a more and as you get closer to the city and the palace um the heart of the well not the heart but the riverside heart of the riverside and the financial district don pen then you'll start seeing more of the street lights and stop signs which really don't mean anything because they'll run them if there's nothing coming Maybe I can get that on video. I probably I probably had that on video, um, some of my other older Cambodian videos, but this is it, guys. All the kids getting out of school or going to school because they take three different languages, English, Cambodian, 
and at night, a teamer, I'm sorry, and at night, Chinese. So these kids go to school literally seven days a week, 12, 14 hour days, if not longer, if their families have money. I know. Oh, you're just making that up. No, I taught school here. I know how it is. I've seen the children come in when we're closing the school at five o'clock to take Chinese lessons or Hemer lessons. So yeah, lots of traffic, lots of students. I'm glad they take their education very seriously. But unfortunately, that's not for the many, it's for the few. Because if you can't afford it, your child's not going to a prestigious school or school period, as far as what I'm told. Don't quote me on that. But it looks like we're gonna be another at least 10, 15 minutes with this traffic. It said 45 minutes for like a, I don't know, 10 mile ride maybe, if that.